no dough. Yeah. Sometimes your mama is the one responsible teaching you for teaching you good manners. I, th I believe I was raised right. Did your mama teach you to say please and thank you? Always, of to course. To open the door? Open the door for others? Yeah, well, all the time. I'm, we're going to give our shout outs to our mamas yeah, today. Thank Hi, you. Yaya. Thank you so much <laughs> for teaching me good manners. Because not only do good manners grease the skids for peace across the planet, it can help you make more money. They go a long way. Here's yeah. an example of how it can help you make more money. In Spain, in Casa, Casta Bra. I'm saying that mm -hmm. wrong. Costa Brava. All right. There is a proprietress who sells her un café for four euro and 4.25 okay. euro. Wh what if you, you say por favor, you get it for 350. That's just please. You actually get That's a just discount if simplest. you ask. Please, just, may yeah, I have a cup easy. of coffee? Isn't that delicious? Mm -hmm. yeah. So if Mama didn't teach you, or if you're an employer and Mama didn't teach your team members, right, right. you could start demonstrating and teaching and insisting on good manners in your space. Simple manners can carry you a long way. So right. So let's look at yeah. what that means. Absolutely, please and thank you. Holding the door, offering your seat to someone who might need to sit more than you of do. Of course. Yeah. Yelling is bad manners. Never appropriate. Of Just course. saying. I don't know where this Fred Flintstone. Even if I'm yelling at Lauren or Lisa in the morning. Came. Yeah, not okay. good, man. <laughs> not good. Look at you. No, it's giving you a big. I know. I'm, I'm getting you a big time oh, out. Boy. No hitting. <laughs> Oh, Don't touch anyone. This right. is like especially now, man. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to get away with that, and it's not good. Monitor your personal noises. Okay. And you know what I'm talking about, Joe. I know exactly ah. what you're saying. Just be courteous. <laughs> maybe not you. Right. Sure. Right. Just if you have to, maybe go away. Right, right. And you may not be offended by people swearing. I love to swear. <laughs> However, unless I have a signed yeah, affidavit, you're that microphone, yeah. I know you got to be careful. But unless people around me have said it's okay, don't do it because you're bound to offend someone. Right, of course. Criticize in private. Yes. Nobody needs to hear about everything that you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. And then you know things like at the dinner table, use your napkin in your lap. Right, yep. gentlemen, it is not inappropriate to use a handkerchief when you blow your nose, okay. as opposed to one of those. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So some of these things of are, and you know, some of sometimes people didn't teach them. So you can actually have an etiquette course. I have a a, a plumbing contracting cotillion. friend, a cotillion. They yeah. went to cotillion. They have a cotillion, cotillion expert mm -hmm. come to their shop and teach manners to their team. Uh, you know what? I, I would tell people to also do. But not not don't do this all the time. Put down the phone a little a bit number more. One. Eye contact. Eye contact. There Put the go. phone down B with each other. Put mm -hmm. the baskets, the phone in the baskets of the meeting and dinner. Right. Really good tips. <laughs> yeah, and are we so busy that we can't say hi, Joe, at the beginning of our email? <laughs> Thank you. A nice little Spelled greeting. Up. Hope you're yeah. doing well. Why not? Exactly. All right, so these are little ways that we can be more loving, more polite, and I tell you what, it makes you more money. That's good to do just to be a good person. Carries you far in the professional world. Ellen Rohr, she's got it all for us, guys. Thank you so much, Ellen. We appreciate it. Daybreak is back in a few minutes.